Hi everybody, hope you're all okay today. Today I am going to do a empties video for you. So these are April's empties. Um, there is a huge playlist for project pens and empties. Um, I'll leave the empties one at the end of this video. So you can look through because it is one I do on a regular basis. So not as many as normal but still a few to get through. Um, so I'm going to start with like masks and single use first so first up we've got Lucy B this is the SPF 30 face serum so this was two little sachets um it was really nice yeah um I know initially I was I was peed because they'd put samples as an actual item um but putting that to one side which I'm still not happy about the actual product itself was really nice it felt gorgeous on the skin um it went nice under makeup um I didn't try it out in like broad, like really strong sunlight or anything like that as to how it worked against burns and things but um, for its actual application it felt really nice. So next up we have uh, the Tea Tree and Peppermint Deep Moisturising Hand Pack and this is, is it Derma V10 or something? Um, oh no, it's Expel. Um, from it <laughs> there's no branding on the front uh so yeah these you can get cheap as chips under a pound from home bargains and yeah they feel really nice um the only problem is you can't be able to do anything while you've got them on but yeah nice then we've got two of the same masks this is a simple five minute reset hydrogel mask this is like my new favorite <laughs> mask i really like this one um it's kind of like um a seafood like gel like a solid gel mask that you put on your face and it's in two parts so um it fits the face a, a lot better than normal um they're made in korea and yeah it just feels absolutely beautiful it says a five minute mask i tend to leave on, I'm on just till i get sick of them basically uh but yeah if you 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 only need five minutes if you're in a rush it'll still do a really nice job uh, but yeah there's no irritation from it it's nice and soothing but the skin just looks beautiful and plumped after so next up we have um johnson's um kiss shampoo like baby shampoo um this i use to clean my makeup brushes uh so um yeah every so often i'll um sterilize them or if i'm using them on someone else i, I will always sterilize them but in between when I'm just using them on myself. Um, I just use baby shampoo uh, just to, to clean them off after each use and it does a really nice job. It doesn't um, damage the bristles, it's nice and gentle, uh, but it gets all that pigment and like oil and things like that out of your brushes. Then we've got Avon's um, Nurture Effect and this is the Micellar Water in Soothe. This was nice, I tried it on my skin once and it did a nice job it removed the makeup it did struggle a little bit with the mascara but i wear the mascara really thick and um, but i tend to use it just to clean my false lashes so i always say this just pop some in a tub leave the lashes in and in the morning all the glue just swipes off and um, so that's normally what i use my cellar water for uh, but i did use it on the face just to see how it was and there wasn't any irritation or anything like that so it is really nice next up we've got sanctuary spa and this is the body butter this is the original i believe the 300 mils this is beautiful it feels gorgeous on the skin really velvety it smells amazing and um, yeah it's one of my new favorites and um, so we thought i was always body shop body butters that's my cat falling downstairs i don't know if you heard that um, um but they have just got so expensive i've been looking for like a replacement and i think this will be my go-to um when i run out of the body shop ones um uh, but i i do have a few of them left still so yeah lovely so speaking of the body shop ones <laughs> Uh, we've got the uh, green tea one and yeah beautiful smells really nice feels gorgeous on the skin um really nice then we have uh, faith in nature this is the dragon fruit body wash uh, this is beautiful it smells like uh, citrusy quite grapefruity um quite a unisex scent um it, it just smells beautiful both me and Lexi really like this one you can get it from Holland and Barrett as well um so if you're out shopping and you see a Holland and Barrett you can just pop in and get one rather than having to pay postage and wait for your product um but yeah beautiful then we've got um Boslame Boslame um Curls Redefined Hydrating Hair Cleanser 
which is a posh word for shampoo, I believe. Um, yeah, used it, it's nice, it's shampoo, <laughs> did what it said. Um, yeah, my hair has a curl to it. Um, I didn't really notice anything majorly different to using my OGX, to be fair, um, but I certainly didn't dislike it, uh, but I do believe this is like super pricey. <laughs> so yeah, save your money, get your OGX. <laughs> so next up, uh, we have a declutter and this is the Dr. Cosmeceutical Turmeric Lotion. Um, it's just too harsh, way too harsh for my skin. Um, it just left me really red and I had like other friends try it and they had exactly the same thing, even the ones that don't suffer with it with sensitive skin it's supposed to brighten dull skin and it soothes and hydrates uh, that's what it says um i personally found it was just a bottle of irritation and so did my friends so yeah um i'll avoid this one in the future next up we've got we are paradox this is the repair um game changer hair mask this is beautiful it smells divine and um, it leaves your hair so soft just oh, so nice so you can use this as a hair mask a conditioner or as like a leave-in um conditioner like to tame flyaways and things like that um it yeah it's lovely i know it is quite a marmite product a lot of people don't like we are paradox but i personally really love them <laughs> uh, so i think it just depends on your hair type i think if you've got um more dry hair you tend to like it if you're normal to oily not so much but yeah i really like them so next up we've got vita skin this is a vitamin c cleansing balm um this was really nice um it is um if you've got sensitive skin just be careful with it when you first put it on your skin it has like beads within it which act like an exfoliator these do melt down on contact with the skin and it turns into the balm but it can cause a little bit of irritation um if you're a bit rough with it uh, so just be really careful but yeah it did an amazing job it brought off the makeup really well i personally prefer the Inkalist oat cleansing balm and it's a lot cheaper um but this one came in an advent calendar so i thought i'd give it a go and it is a really nice balm so next up we have aroma active this is the soothing universal repair cream in light um so this was a 15 ml um we received recently i think it was it rockerbox or okay i can't remember one of those two um i used it mainly on my hands it did a really nice job i went and reorganized it. I couldn't get the light when I got the rich or the original one of the two and um, it was on offer at Boots so the big 100ml ones were down to £5 uh, so I got a couple of them um, but yeah really like it. Then uh, we've got an eye cream from La Chiara this is the Avocado Bright Eyes this is beautiful it's their dupe of the Glow Recipe one um, it does an amazing job it is a retinal eye cream um, so best to use at night but yeah it feels beautiful and it does an amazing job. So that baby shampoo has leaked all over the box so I forgot to give my normal disclaimer but this is known as the box of cat hair because uh, my cat likes to sleep in it and things leak so it just gets covered it's dis disgusting it's gross i'm sorry <laughs> so yeah it's a bit extra grim today because of that leaking so next up um well we're on to like makeup now what's left so we've got the elf um i can't remember what this is called yeah i can't see the shade name i don't know what they're called but they're like the liquid eyeshadows this is the black one with like the silver glitter um it was really nice i really liked it um and yeah it looked really pretty i've had a few different colors uh, from them that always do a really nice job um, you can take the stopper out and use a brush if you want it um a bit more dramatic as well um but yeah really nice then we have maybelline and this is the uh, wonder volume free frill seeker and mascara it's nice it's okay it does an okay job um i don't think it's anything special i'd rather go for one of the ones that's like cruelty free over this one um just because i didn't think it was anything overly special to um yeah even consider um going against my morals on that one but yeah it's okay next up we've got she glam this is the two-in-one brow um, pencil so you've got a felt tip one side and a retractable pencil the other side is really fine um absolutely gorgeous it is my go-to um brow pencil i get mine in chocolate um yeah it does an amazing job really nice lasts all day i just really like this one 
Then from She Glam, again, we've got a concealer and this is in whipped cream. Um, I'm not sure which concealer it is. It doesn't give me a name, but yeah, it's like that. So this one I just used to brighten like under the eyes and things like that. Uh, did a really nice job. Uh, didn't sit in lines, lasted all day. And then we have Catrice True Skin um, High Cover uh, Concealer. So this is my go-to concealer. I use this one just as the general concealer, um, not to brighten. And I get this one in Cool Kashmir. It's absolutely beautiful. It's really hard to get the shade there. Um, this one and the foundation version of it as well. Um, it, it seems to always have the shade out of stock, but it is beautiful, cool tone, pale shade, um, which is hard to come by, especially in an affordable brand. Um, but yeah, it, it is one of my favourites. So yeah, that's all my April's empties. Let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, I'll just let you know every time I upload. And as always, thank you for joining me. Enjoy your day. Bye.